Hi guys, Button here. Welcome to your seventh tutorial on ISO 8583. Yes, I believe it's the seventh video. So in this particular video, we'll be creating our first variable field. So we're going to create a variable field for storing numeric values, right? So go ahead and create a class called variable num field in the field package okay so it's going to have mostly the same fields as a fixed num field but we're going to have some additional ones so for example we have a max length field if you go here to wikipedia and look at some of these particular fields yeah so let's uh, look for a variable numeric field so we have a field like field 32 Field 32 is not denoted as n dot dot 11, right? So it, which means the first two digits are used to represent the length, and the length can be up to 11. Uh, can be up to 11 long, okay? So 11 is the max length. So that's what is going to be stored here, right? We also have a field called the length of length, right? So this just stores the number of digits that are used to represent the length. So if it's L var, then this is 1. If it's L L var, then this is 1. If it's triple L var, then this is 3. Okay. We also need to store the length encoding. All right. And we also need value encoding. Some of these others are just similar. So this is just a constructor to initialize. You can have a look at that and try and see uh exactly what it's doing so basically most of it is just easy to understand so this is where there's going to be a lot of changes well not so much but this is the encode method remember this is a field and it needs to be encoded okay so this is similar to what we had before just make sure the field length is not zero if it is, just return whatever encoded value there is, which is just a, an empty string. Also check to make sure that the length of the content does not exceed the max length. So for the fixed fields, we were checking just the length, right? Remember here we were just checking length, but in this particular case, we need to check the maximum length, all right? So check not of that, right? So uh, I'm gonna scroll down and check this out. So that's it. Uh, let me just uh, sorry. So this is how it actually looks, right? So okay, you understood what this actually does. So this. Here we're just storing the length, you know. Remember this particular field, the length is included. So if I show you an example of such a message, let me go ahead and show you an example of such a message. Actually, I have a different kinds of message here. So this is a, an example of a message. This is a bit longer, all right, but if I can just uh, take a piece here and show you so this is a, a financial transaction message okay so this is a message uh, used to transfer funds from one account to another so this this first two here is an MTI okay but it's encoded in binary all right so this first two is an mti so the rest of all this is a bitmap which is also encoded in binary right but here you notice something that looks like 19 which actually is 19 so this is field 2 right remember the mti is field 0 the bitmap is field 1 right now this field 2 is what we we normally call the primary account number right and uh, this is normally it's normally a variable field and the first two digits are used to represent the length okay uh, let me just confirm that guys one minute 
so there is field 2 field 2 yeah field 2 is a variable field and the length can be up to 19 okay so as you can see in this particular message example the length is part of the message so the length is 19 but the actual field is encoded in, in binary as you can see okay so the length is encoded in ASCII but the field content is encoded in binary so take note of that so when we are encoding here we need to include the length as part of the message right so in this particular case we have to measure you know we have to calculate the length so we, we get the length of the value and we store it here right then we just create a string where we'll store the encoded length all right so what we do is just convert this into a string as you can see by calling this particular method and then we need to prepend zeros to make sure it is long enough right so remember that field field 3 so to speak field 2 is an n dot dot one nine right so if the length of this field is five right then we need to prepend a zero here because remember we're using two digits to represent the length right so this should be prepended to include zero five because the length of length the length of length is going to be two so we have to prepend a zero to make sure it fills all that content right and then this length encoding is what is in the config file so if it is binary which is also bcd if it's in binary if we want to encode the length in binary then we are going to treat this as one hex byte okay so if we treat this as one hex byte then we need to take that hex and convert it to ascii so we can store it as a string okay so this method does the same for us all right if it is ASCII, then we don't need to do anything. The encoded length is just going to be whatever is here. We don't need to do anything, so we just break out. So this encodes the value, right? So if the value encoding is BCD, well, this is just similar. You've already seen this, guys. So there's nothing near here. So when you're storing the encoded value, you have to include the length. So the encoded length has to come before the encoded value as you can see from this particular file this is the encoded length 19 and 19 so depending on how this is encoded but since this is encoded in binary actually the length is going to be 10 all right so we'll see about how that becomes 10 all right so that's it for this particular type of field all right so i think in the next video we're going to look at the decode method uh sorry guys i think we can just look at it now so i see i have time so in the decode method is basically similar right to the previous decode method for the fixed field but we have to decode the length first right because the length comes before the actual value so here we're looking for we are switching the length encoding so if the length encoding is bcd then remember that all the number of bytes have to be even okay so if the length is not even then we add one to make sure that it's even and then the length has to be we're going to divide the length by two because remember when we store in binary the content is half as long right so if we store 19 in binary this is going to be one byte right this is going to be one byte but remember the length of length in this particular case was two right the length of length was two so because we are using binary then this length has to be divided by two so that we can get one because remember this form of encoding if we encode using binary the content becomes half as long so we have to divide the length divide by two all right and then the length is going to be passed as an integer from the ascii content which is going to be converted to hex 
beforehand okay because this is a hex byte whatever is there has to be converted has to be converted to hex because remember it's a byte that we are converting to hex right so whatever content is here from zero to however many uh, however long the length of length is in this case half the original length because we are using binary you have to convert that from ASCII to hex and then we pass it as an integer all right so if it was 19 then that particular binary value is going to be converted to hex so that we can get 19 and then that 19 since it is a string has to be passed as an int and then that is going to be stored as the length okay if it's ASCII well that's just straightforward you just substring and then you pass that integer okay so once we're decoding here we also need to make sure that whatever length we get here is not more than max length if that is not the case then we're going to throw an unpack exception okay so from here all the way down is similar to what we had in the fixed binary field yeah it's very similar because we also need to check the length in case of bcd right if you're using binary remember the length is going to be shorter so that's why we have to divide by two all right but remember now the next head index we have to offset by the number of uh, digits that are used to represent the length so that is why we have to add this here okay and then the encoded value we're going to substring from where the length actually ended to the next head index all right and then we also need to change the head because this is bcd right but the field is just a numeric field you know and just and numerals are just ascii values right so we need to convert we need to convert whatever is here into the form that we can actually understand so we need to take the ascii and convert it back to hex because those hex values are what we started it in the, we, we started with in the first place okay and then we also need to prepare the length the way it was so that once we come to do the substringing here we can actually get the values that we want all right so we do head substring from the length of length uh, to the length of length plus the actual length of the content so that's going to be our value then we return the next head index okay so i know this seems a bit confusing but once you look at it once or twice it's going to become very clear okay so in the next video uh we're going to be looking but before we actually go to the next video let me just show you a test that i've written for this particular type of field so this is a variable num field so here i have an example of a pan a primary account number so here i'm reading the configuration file that i showed you before this config file here so this config file is the one that i'm using and as you can see field 2 is here defined here which is a variable numeric field it has a max length of 19 so the length is going to start off as zero but we don't actually use this because we are going to get our own length right uh, it also has a prepender because it's a numeric field we prepend with zeros and it has a description now the value encoding is in bcd and the length encoding is in ascii okay this goes hand in hand with, with this particular message okay so i want us to try and pass this particular pan all right let's try and pass this particular pan so that we see what we get okay uh, but before we pan sorry before we pass the pan let's try and encode right so here we are setting this value so this is where i was so this uh we just write the config file and then we converted the config file into an iso field and then we got the second field right because the pun is id number two right so this is what we got here uh, 
once we get the second field we create a variable num field and we pass in the config and then we set the value right after setting the value we encode and we get the encoded value and then that is what we print out okay and then that is what we actually print out so that is encoding now notice here that when i decode this value that i'm trying to compare with has an extra zero at the beginning okay now this is because when we are encoding this value we are using binary okay if we go here and look at encoding method if you look at the encode method if we use binary then we have to convert content from hexadecimal to ascii right we have to convert the content from hexadecimal to ascii right now this content that we are actually trying to convert if i can copy it here then uh, this content is 19 long right but remember when we store in binary everything has to go as a pair right so that's the first pair the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth but this nine is alone right it's alone so because we want to use binary we have to prepend a zero there right so that we have even number of hex digits right the number of hex digits has to be even so that when we go to convert this to bytes they are going to fit right so that now we are going to have 10 bytes right we're going to have 10 bytes now right here we're going to have 10 bytes so when we are decoding what we'll actually get is this value it's going to have an extra zero because it was added when we were actually encoding in binary all right so that's why i, I have this here so uh, when you actually go to go and look at the implementation you'll understand better why that is happening okay so if i run this particular test let me check the output so you can see so this is a, it's another test this is the test just below so this is the test i want us to look at encoding a variable numeric field so as you can see this is what was encoded so if you look properly you can see that the first value here is 19 which is our length then from our length all the way here these are the rest of the uh, this is the rest of the field content okay but as you can see it's gibberish because it's encoded in binary and we can't actually read that okay so we also have a decode method that does the reverse you know it reads from the configuration file so just go ahead and look at this particular method it's more or less the same but just go ahead and try and look at it because this is also a test that uh, the trend right here uh, if you look at this particular test you'll see that we were also decoding here and when we decoded we got this particular value right so the value we are passing here is uh, whatever is in this particular file so we're getting this 19 and passing the rest right we're passing this binary to get in uh, the content in a numeric form okay so that's it for this particular video guys in the next tutorial uh, we're going to be creating uh, i think we'll do a variable ans field all right we'll do a variable ans field so most of the stuff is going to be similar to a variable num field but uh, yeah in the next video we'll see all about that so guys thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video